And it's time for Coach's Comments, presented by Southside Auto Tech. I'm Christiano Simino, joined alongside by Stars head coach and GM, Cody Chupp. And, Cody, the first thing I'm going to ask you about is, do you know that this is the first time the Stars have had a three-game win streak since April of 2018? Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> I, I like it and don't like it all at the same time. So, um, no, that's good to know. And, um, obviously, I'm proud of the resiliency tonight and um, our ability to regain our composure uh, with an interesting game. There was a lot of things that you don't always see throughout the course of a hockey game tonight. Uh, so uh, huge credit to our guys. We've stressed depth in the early part of this season, but how about the way that you've scored goals? There's a power play goal, there's a shorthanded goal, and of course the even strength markers tonight. How does that impact the way that you look down the line throughout the season when there are points of adversity, especially we talked about last Saturday against Sioux Falls, a 3-1 game, but there's a disallowed goal right there, and you're on the power play, and what do you guys keep doing? You keep grinding away, and Travis Treeler is able to put it home. It's pretty special to watch these guys right now. Yeah, and, and that really speaks to uh, our group as a whole, and you know, I think uh, Moose would be the first to tell you there were a couple that he want back tonight, and but if you watch... Um, you know, right after those goals go in, not only do we have five guys jump over the boards, go tell him that we have his back, and we go out there and we prove it uh, in the next shift. So uh, from a coaching standpoint, um, you know, you, you've heard me talk about culture for years now, and uh, what that tells me is um, our culture is starting to move in the right direction. We have each other's back. We care about each other, um, and, and we have that, that compete uh, mentality and everything that we do and I thought there were times tonight where we we started to back off that once was in the first period and again in the third period uh, or two different times where I thought we started to get passive in our approach and it allowed Sioux Falls to get a little bit of energy they started playing through bodies they started competing a little harder in those 50-50 battles and ultimately they started to tilt the ice and and our group was challenged in those moments and responded um, what I think uh, pretty well tonight. Um, you know, without watching the video, I think we did a good job of getting back to our game in those moments and reestablishing our pressure. Matt Miller, four goals in his last two games, all against Sioux Falls. It's special for him because he was eliminated by Sioux Falls when he was a member of Sioux City last year. What have you seen from him in the early parts of this season at both ends of the ice, what he does well? Yeah, Matt Miller is a a twenty year old kid that that has the maturity level of uh, a forty year old, <laughs> and um, he is uh, when you talk about being a pro and, and your approach on a daily basis and and living your life doing everything right. And, and I'm not just talking about how he practices or how he works out. I'm talking about. Uh, He's in vacuuming the weight room. He's in vacuuming the locker room, picking up things, um, you know, at his billet house. He, he demands the guys that he lives with uh, are doing things right all the time. And that's just the type of person that he is. Um, normally, uh, life, sport... Uh, tends to work out for people like that, and, and Matt's a, a great example of it. He works his butt off every single day. Um, he cares about the details of his life. Uh, he cares about the details of his game. Um, so, you know, to have him get rewarded is, uh, is a credit to everything that he's done up until this point, and I have no doubt will continue to do throughout the course of his career and uh, whatever happens after that. So. Uh, he's always one of those guys at the end of practice that is practicing his one-on-one -on -one plays right in front of the net. Everything, it seems, Matt Miller, he stresses, and like you said, on and off the ice, it's been to a T. Last question for you, Cody. How can you take this three-game winning streak, the momentum that you've generated from that, uh, against Omaha tomorrow and one of the, the biggest rivalries in the USHL between those two teams, and you know that very well? Yeah, I mean, Omaha's going to play hard, and... and um there's no question about that. They're going to be at home. They're going to have their fans. Um, you know, I think for us, we need to continue to f uh, sure up some areas, and, and I think those lapses in our game are, are the biggest focus for us now is how do we stay on our pressure and, and continue to play our game for 60 minutes. And, and things happen throughout the course of a game. Um, but if we can embrace our game and – everything that goes with it for 60 minutes um, 
we have the skill, we have the ability uh, to get the outcome that we want. But um, those little lapses, as we know in this league, with a, a league full of skill and, and guys that can finish, um, it, it could be a three-minute lapse that costs you three. So uh, we're going to continue to to find ways to work ourselves through the 60-minute game. What I love about what we've shown over the course of, of the last three games is um, our resiliency uh, when there's adversity. And, and it's come in kind of different ways, but we found ways to get back to our game. And, um, you know, when we needed a big save, we were able to get one. When we needed a good finish, we were able to get one. When we needed to make that play at the blue line to get three feet, we were able to get it or a block or that big time goal when we needed it. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it says a lot about the group and they're willing to do whatever it takes. And we're happy when we get that goal, but we're just as happy when we get the big block or we make that little play at the line that, that allows us to relieve some pressure. So um, it's a group that, that is playing like they're all in, uh, that they care about each other. And, and, and that's huge, especially in this time of year and uh, continuing to establish uh, our identity and our culture. Um, we're taking good steps in the right direction. He's Stars head coach and GM Cody Chupp. And going back to Jordan Power, those couple of blocks in the five-on-three period, they were fantastic. So a total complete win. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, Cody. Stars win 7-4 to four over the Sioux Falls Stampede. We'll see you tomorrow as the Stars take on the Lancers in Omaha.